Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. I have another journal share and this one is called Time for Tea. I wanted to use up a lot of my little bits of laces um, that I've had for quite a while and they're quite old laces as well. And uh, one of my favourite fabrics that was gifted to me by Ruby from um, Little Books. And yeah, so I wanted to make something that was a bit you know, a bit more feminine, a bit yummy, and um, but I got a bit carried away, as you can see. This has got three signatures. I can't remember how many um, pages now, but there's lots. And um, it's an altered book. I used the book, um, the cover of a, an, a book. It was just the perfect size. And, of course, this is the front. And the front is basically... I used this beautiful fabric. I should turn it around so you can see it. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It's from, um, this was gifted to me um, from Ruby from Little Books. And um, I've been hoarding it and not using it. Well, this time I've used it. I wanted something that looks really pretty. This is of a collar. This is a lace collar, very old. And I've put a little doily here with a little bit of bling. Everybody's got to have a bit of bling. Um, use one of my beads that I made. Um, the inside of this is from a gardening gardening book. I'll just see if I can make that close up. Oh dear. There we go. And um, yes, I used a page from a gardening magazine. It's one of my first beads I made a long time ago. And the inside of that is a um, thick tube from the spray bottles, you know, the tubes in that you have in spray bottles. When the spray bottle doesn't work, well, I keep the tubes out of that. That was Bonnie's um, little tip from Bonnie and, and Clyde here on YouTube, uh, Bonnie and Clive. And I used an earring as a dangle and then I had two um, bead caps left I don't have many bead caps but I used them for this and just popped it on a bow pin or a garment pin so um, this is of a doily and I've just taken the trim off and I colored this quite a while ago this beautiful little trim was gifted to me by um, Jeannie Jeannie Dreamer, we probably know all know her Jeannie. The picture itself is quite common being used throughout the crafting community. I got that from Pinterest. And a scruffy little flower with a bit of a pearl button on there. And then on the bottom here, I've used a little dangle. And the closure is um, a beautiful organza ribbon. So it's see-through so that you can still see that beautiful, beautiful cover. So let's go and venture inside. The front and the back cover, I've used some really pretty um, lace just to sort of finish it off a little bit. Let's go and explore. So as you can see, I've got really carried away with... Um, the embellishment of the pages but I mean that's a it's a normal trade isn't it just let me see if I can get this go back a little bit so here I've made an envelope from a book page a bit of trim this is wallpaper I've used wallpaper and um, napkins throughout um, on the front here I have a little flip out envelope so you can pop some notes in that so it goes quite a while so you won't run out of paper in that one. And I've actually left the selvage edge on here because it says made in England and because Ruby does live in England, so this was um, from there. I did a fair bit of decoupaging and made quite a few um, scrap clusters as well. And I had some um, paper napkins with teacups on it, so that made me want to go and and make a journal and some pictures that I got from magazines and that as well so um, as you all know I don't use digital kits 
so um, there's plenty of um, goodies out there that I don't need to use it so I've put this little um, journal together just from um, magazines and um, paper napkins so another one from magazine and I've backed that onto some um, cardboard and just stitched around it and it's just a tuck spot. I've used um, a lot of my painty papers throughout. It's a bit of a um, paper napkin decoupage. Let's see if I can bring that up a little bit. And uh, little fabric clusters. And this little book was in part of a happy mail and I've just stitched around it and write in this one. And I've actually made a little um, pocket in that. And I've made a little tag in that. It says stop, smile, breathe, life is beautiful. Just pop that in there. That goes back in there. And I've just done a bit of stamping. Now I've used my painty papers. Um, you all know how I made them. And because I've... You know, as you know, I've had a lot of um, paper that I got hold of that would have been gone into the rubbish. One side was plain, which was my is my painty side, but the other side had printed on it. So whether it was old invoices or just, you know, anything that was printed. So what I'd done was I gessoed over the top and then I actually, you're going to laugh, I grated some of my purple chalk, yellow chalk, a um, bit of pink, a bit of yellow, and then I went over with the brush that I used for the gesso to get that effect. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, from a magazine. Um, here's my painty papers. I did a bit of stamping here, tea time. I thought that was appropriate. Um, this is a hinky, and it has two parts to it. So I use one part here, and the other part is... Um, Further down, oops, sorry ladies, I better zoom back out again. So there's the hinky. And this here is just a little envelope, just a little paper clip, but you can take that paper clip off and you can just journal on this. And that just goes back on here. And also on the back, I can use it as a tuck spot. Um, that was a journaling card that was gifted to me. Here's another one of the uh, my chalk page, the effect. Doesn't that look cool? And um, just love it. And I decoupage this beautiful um, napkin on it as well. Here I've made a um, little tuck spot. Use some pretty um, lace fabric little invitation and of course you know little envelopes I've just popped in here behind there and this is a, a magazine cut out as well use some pretty um, lace down the bottom just there to finish it off I've done a fair bit of sewing in this journal as well here I've made a tuck spot so you've got a tag and another um, little tag there and just goes behind there make sure it doesn't get bent um, coffee dyed papers I just made some use some scrap paper one of my tags I made decoupaged it with um, some napkin made then tuck spot another tuck spot these are sort of like papers that I've um, had for a while it's um or cardstock, I don't know what it is, but yeah, so I'm using this calendar page that I used and um, finished off with a trim as a tuck spot. I'm just popped some journaling cards in there. Same with this, my little booklet just tucks in there. Here's that my chalk paint, and I just um, did some number printing on that little cluster and a bit of lace that I used and just flip that out um, decoupage that it's one of my painted papers instead of cutting it off I've just left it and here's my chalk page little fabric cluster on the top I'll just show you just 
there. This one here is the other side of that envelope and you just uh, pull that out. You can open it up and journal on it. Another nice little cup of tea. This here is beautiful um, lace as well. See if I can get a close up. Yes. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, so sheer and beautiful. That's actually come off a scarf, believe it or not. So, yeah, so I've popped that on a pink envelope. Flip it out and you've got lucky bingo card. Just turn that back, zoom back out again. Some beautiful trims. Like I said, I've had so I've got so much in my stash. I thought it's about time to use it up in some in a pretty journal. Bit of decoupage and fabric cluster. Another one there as well. This is a pocket. I've just put a journaling card on it. It's actually a paper bag. Um, was gifted to me. Strawberries and cream. How appropriate. So a magazine. I can't remember what magazine that's out of. And I just decoupaged. Um, I've got a napkin with these two in it. I'm having a cup of tea. And you just fold it right out. I can't remember where I got that from. Here's a paper bag and I use it as um, tuck spot. Decoupage this beautiful, beautiful, um, um, I think this was rice paper. I think this was still from uh, Ruby from Little Books. Used a little bit of brown trim just down the bottom here. Um, this is one of my papers. I had some beautiful fabric and I actually photocopied it to see what the effect was and it looks cool I thought it was and there's a little tuck spot and no I didn't make that a tuck spot I just turned that around some more decoupaging napkin here I've made a I did make a tag and um, but I needed another tuck spot so I use it as a tuck spot little cup of tea stickers I was lucky enough to have some of those and um, this page is from Wendy, Wendy Mason. That was in a flow journal. Here I've um, sewn some lace on. And of course I made it into a pocket. You can journal on this. This lace is really pretty. I'll just see if I can zoom. Look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous? Just really like this trim. And of course, I decoupaged. Um, uh, it was a nap, it was a napkin, and it was just really tiny. So I thought, well, I might just use that and make it look like a little stamp. But I use it as a tuck spot to close that up. And journaling card. I didn't alter some of these journaling cards because they were just. Just too cool, too cool to use. Here I've used a little snippet of fabric, love it. And um, I've popped in a little doily. And then I had this little um, bling of a um, rose, but I actually flattened it so that it wouldn't get too bulky. Here I've used, see if I can zoom back out again. I've used a magazine cutout and I just um, coloured the edges. And here I've used, I actually altered this journaling card. You can still write on it. I sewed around it and uh, it looks pretty cool. This is um, wrapping paper. And here's the other um, decoupage, this. It's beautiful. And I've got a punch that I very rarely use because I almost have trouble with it. But I thought I might just use it for this one and stitched around it and you can journal on the back. Um, these were gifted to me by a friend in Happy Mart. They look absolutely awesome. And just made a pocket and made a, put a journaling card in there. Now this middle signature, absolutely love this. Um, I've used some fabrics for pockets but I didn't put anything in it. Um, this is, of course is from uh, Ruby from Little Books as well. Um, yes, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
um, paper napkin. And here I've made a little, sewed in some pages. And of course I made another, uh, there goes that, made another little uh, mini envelope. It's got a little clock on it, seeing it's time for tea. And you can just, you know, put a note in. It's one of my, on my painted papers. I'll put that on later. Actually, I'll put it on now so I don't forget. It just goes on there like that. That's it. And then just journal on that. It's this um, wrapping paper. That's a tuck spot. Here, this is from a magazine, and what I used is I've popped in a tag. This was gifted to me. With a, it's got a tea bag on it, a little dangle that is um, collage some paper on top, and this is a um, order a receipt from a restaurant. So you can journal on the back of that. And I coffee dyed that. Just goes in the back, and there's a pocket just there. Another little fabric cluster, just love this fabric because this is, was off a top and uh, yeah they all came like that, how cool. Um, just all different fabrics, this is sort of a bit of a doily, doily trim. Here I've made a flip out of a telegram and of course one of my decoupage tags with the calendar behind it. Some more of that nice printed paper. Here's a, um, I had some brown paper, looked like handmade paper, but I made it into a little pocket and I just decoupage that and just embellish it with some lace and button and the next day. And you can just journal in this one. And I use some diamond dots just around here. See that just there? Love this trim, isn't this gorgeous? Can't remember where, that, where I got that from. It's absolutely beautiful. Quite a bit of decoupage on here, little cluster. Um, and I use a bit of lace just to trim it because it looked quite plain. Here I've made a tuck spot, popped in um, the doily just on the background. This is from a magazine from Pinterest and um, I just backed it with some of my painted papers and sewn around it and it just fits nice and snug in here. Had this um, cut out for a long, long time, a fountain, and so I've made a tag, uh, decoupaged, a little bit of lace and she's just walking behind that fountain. Here's some more of my chalky papers. I just love the effect. And there's my painted papers. Um, this was gifted to me quite a while ago. Just normal paper. Here I've just um, popped on a doily. But it's double. So it's quite sturdy. And you can write in this one. Made that little writing spot. tie that up with a bit of pink lace and of course I've got a white doily behind there another one of the scrappy clusters a little fabric flip this is I really like this and I'd put it on here because I did a bit of collage on here I'll just see if I can zoom in as you can see I've used the fabric just here did a bit of collaging and you can actually use this as a tuck spot and pop that on a doily. And stitched around it. Some of these pages are actually double sided pages. So uh, maybe because there was a print on either side, on both of them. So I've just glued them together and stitched them together so that you can still journal on them on the good side. And this is just a little flip out. Another pocket bit more decoupage, another cluster. This is a tuck spot. 
This is from uh, from my calendar, and I uh, oh, just love it. And I just had this little trim, polka dot trim. I mean, how cool is that? See if I can come in. Can you see the little polka dot trim? Isn't that cool? For that really time for tea, it had a clock, a little watch on it, stop watch on it or something. And um, that's the middle of the signature. It's a little bag there. It's actually a Bombery bag. Um, a tag and then some bingo card. And a little bit to put a note on. A little cluster that I just made there. And on here is the book page. Two-fold book page. That's from Bonnie's. Um, learned that from Bonnie, Bonnie and Clive. Uh, or Clyde and um, I made some tags that go in there just in there like that to journal on here's the other side of the calendar doesn't it look cool didn't want to cover that up um, here's an envelope the journaling card in here and then behind it is another journaling card just some stickers that I had here Paper bag and I've just decoupaged this teacup on it and of course it's got a journaling card in it as well. Here I've made a little um, tuck spot. It's book page um, on uh, with a tea bag on the back, lace and I've just top, got that out of the book. It looks really cool and just some writing paper. This was gifted to me and I can't remember who it was. Um, and I've just popped in a couple of these stamps that were gifted as well. They're just little, you can just journal on the back of them. That's the other side of the heart, but I didn't put anything on it this time. I just left it. And this is a tuck spot. My stickers. And this one here. Oh, you'll love this. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yep. This is the other side of the hanky, but I've made it into a fabric flip, just like that. And I've used um, one of these envelopes, and look at the little button. Isn't that button cool? So, you know, you can journal in this as well. And that just goes back on here. See if I can do it without making it up too much. And I just used um, these little paper clips. I do have rustic paper clips, but I didn't want to um, use them on this because it would have discoloured it. A bit more decoupage on here. More decoupage. This one here is a um, paper clip. And you can actually flip that out. And it's got Sunday to Saturday on there. And you can journal on there as well. This one is a piece of wallpaper. And I've just popped on a couple of little um, flowers. Blinged up flowers. And because wallpaper is so soft, you can just unhook it. And just journal on it. I made some lines. I put notes on it. And just pop that back in. And that just holds that together. Just like that. A uh, tuck spot? No. This one isn't a tuck spot. And that's the end. Um, I've got a little note about the journal in here. It's a tuck spot. Another one of my um, chalk papers. Now, this page. Love this page. Um, you know, when we get dressed up, your heels, perfume, lipstick, handbag, earrings. And yes, this is a little handbag and you can journal on it. So how cool is that? Now I got this from um, YouTube. It's not my idea. I can't remember. And I just decoupaged it lightly um, with some really... Um, this is actually um, when you have... When you take the napkins apart and there's two layers or three layers and I think the second last layer of the napkin actually has some print on it, well I've used that to put it on here because you can only just see the print. 
and um, I do believe it's another tuck spot there. Wallpaper. So I've used wallpaper on the inside. It's a hidden spine. And I really, really like this journal. I had fun making it. But like we all do, we all like our journals. We all enjoy making them. Um, sometimes they're our favourites. And it just closes up quite nicely. And there she is. I'll just hold her up so you can see it. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I enjoyed making her. Like I said, I'm going to leave my... Um, Face, personal Facebook page link below so if you're interested in this journal just message me on that and we'll go from there until next time you know what you've got to do um, I probably won't be making too many journals at this point in time because I've got um, a few commitments and uh, but we're still at home so until next time thanks for watching bye for now